coin just fell down here. All right, so at this point, if I just try to type something like that, you see that? Yes, the input has changed. Mm -hmm. So it recognizes that immediately. <clears throat> Excuse me, immediately. So that's what I wanted. So here I will say edit quantity. This is the function that I want to run. But as you can see down here, if you've noticed the function we created, it expects a value of the quantity here. So how exactly do we get the value of the quantity? Well, this item itself has a value, which is in here. So we just get that value by just saying this dot value. So this represents the particular element and its value. So if you wanted to get the ID of this thing, you just say this dot ID. If you wanted to get the type, you just say this dot type. As simple as that okay so we get the value at the particular time so let's come back that's all we need to do up there and we come here and I just want it to alert me to the quantity itself so I want to see the number that I have typed just to be sure that it's working so there's two and I type three I get a three I get 34 very good so things are working here now, we just need to send this data. Mm -hmm. Now, because we're using this method of doing it like this, it makes it very, very particular where we are sending the data. Like here, we are sending it to edit quantity. But if we want to send data to something else, like delete instead of edit quantity, we'll have to change that. So instead of having to do this, we'll send the data here. But then we'll add another parameter of, uh, I don't know what you would call it. You'd call it method, maybe, or data type, maybe, data type, something like this. And then we'll copy this data type and put it here, like it thought. But for it to be recognized, we have to add it in this manner, like so. So data type there and JSON. So let's come back here and do that. So here I will say, send data, send underscore data. Now it would be a nice to have to know that uh, quantity is numeric. If is, but uh, in here we don't have is numeric, we have is not a number like this, is none. So if this is not a number, then we just have to return, return like that. Now, in JavaScript, if the item you are adding inside the if statement is just one line, then you don't really need the brackets like this. This is valid just fine. So we'll leave it at that. If it's not a number, return. Then otherwise, uh, let's uh, send it. But I want it trimmed just in case there are spaces there like this. So send data. Now, we this expects an object. So let's create an object here inside. Like a this. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And the closing part, why did I move it there? Okay, great. So obviously an object needs, um, wait, it needs some data like this and quantity. So I'm just going to say quantity. I'll call it quantity full colon and then get the value itself. So really this is all we need to send, just the quantity. Uh -huh. If we're sending more than this, we would have to do this and put a comma like that. Okay. So we have our data, but it expects two items and the data type as well. So I will put a comma there and put the data type as edit quantity like so. So this data type is going to be used in the Ajax to identify the method. Why? Because we've put it in the URL. Okay, so I hope this is making sense. Now, the reason we do this is so we can send to different functions depending on what we are doing, right? We can choose the function we want the data to go to by changing this value. And then this is the data itself. So let's see if we will receive something here by simply uh, echoing it out, shall I say? So here I will say print readable the data 
whatever data we receive we're going to just print it out but one more thing here i have forgotten is we need the handle result function yes yes which we have here in the categories as well so all i need is just this part here that's the uh up to there i think that's relevant as well so come back here where are you right here let's create a new function so let's close that one close that one and close that one yes so we close every bracket here mm -hmm. but i don't want it to get to here i just want to see the result right here so where did i see that no, no, no. there is none so right here i want to have a console.log so that we can um debug shall we console.log bam like that so that when the result comes back we log it because we're not really doing anything with it down here except the json parse here okay so i think we have the ingredients that are required to do what we want to do so i will refresh and let's give it a shot so here i will say uh what shall i say four okay so you see nothing happens but let's check the console the console as you can see in the console we have quantity equals four so things have worked out after all yeah awesome it's always great when things do work out mm -hmm. so now i can um let me reset that I can close my uh, console so things are working here the only thing is we need to update the cart over here because we have the data that we want and we need to update it but the thing is we are changing a quantity to some kind of data we don't know what the id of the item is because remember in order to change this let me come back here again in uh, cart.php so if I come back to my code here, I, uh, okay, so here I was looking for this raw ID right here. So as you remember, we said something like subtract quantity and then we put the ID because the ID is important for us to recognize which item we're actually changing the quantity to. So we need this raw ID over there. So I'll copy this raw ID you see here we get the value of the id that we are sending quite all right but we can put as many parameters as we want really even this thing where we are putting uh, a function in here we can actually put many functions here so i can tell this uh, as long as i put a semicolon there i can uh, fire up another function here it's all perfectly fine and not only that i can actually put javascript in here a full javascript function in there directly there and it will still work because anything you put inside these is actual javascript so paste there the only reason we send this to a function is because we want to put so many things uh, as you can see this function has so much stuff here it would be weird to put that stuff right in these uh, brackets here so it would be too small so here we're getting the id now i would rather put some inverted commas here than just leave the id there like this so i'll put those uh, single quotes there because sometimes if your id starts with a zero or, or maybe it's too long it's a digit it might be rounded off by javascript maybe your ids are quite big they may get rounded off this one here the reason i'm not putting quotes is because value is already a string it comes in as a string but this one if i had not put the quotes it would be considered an a number but then sometimes javascript has a tendency to round off those numbers and that wouldn't be nice when that rounded figure is actually an id to an item inside the database so make sure you put these quotes over here just to be sure so once we put those quotes there, then we have an ID, don't we? So come here, quantity, ID. So we can capture that ID as well. And then I'll just add the second item here. And, oh, wrong place. Comma should be here. Then I will 
copy that and say id yes and that's about it so let's try it again yeah let's open the console to see what we're going to see i'll do this just so the results can be here all right so number six and there we go so we have quantity six for id number seven yeah very good so let's see that in action and actually uh update our our cart yes mm -hmm. now the thing is uh after we update our cart we will need to refresh the page so that we can see some new detail yes now you don't have to refresh the page okay you can simply add the quantity and then find these uh, because here the thing is there's a price and there's a quantity so this total here is uh, created from a multiplication of that and that okay so a way to do it is to find these items get them by id and then update the values after you've gone to the server and updated everything but i find that to be a little bit cumbersome because it things can get uh, pretty complicated real quick you find that there's so much you need to update just after doing this because you have to update the total as well the grand total and all that so too many things to grab and you may end up having uh, issues there so for you who is uh, simply beginning and not a very an expert i would suggest just refreshing the page after doing all this so how exactly do we refresh the page so here we don't want to refresh the page every time there's an ajax uh, call so we just want to refresh the page on a specific uh, thing so here for example i know that data is equal to that json uh, data so first of all uh, what i want to do here is convert this data into um, into an object so I'll just say obj is equal to json uh, not that kind of json json decode yeah, let's decode the data and then once we are done with that decoding we can add to this data so i will say obj uh, actually we do not need to because there's a data type there there's edit quantity so I didn't need to do any of this so i'll hold up here for a second the data returned actually no we didn't have this edit quantity because we used it in the url yeah because if you look at our result here if i go in here and uh, you see the result doesn't have data type so no i'm on the right track here let me remove this uh, so i convert this into an object from the data and then i add something like data type data type and then i'll equate this to edit quantity that way when the data comes back to the browser we know what was going on what we were doing it's editing a quantity so then i can change it back to json encode oh underscore encode obj yes and we send that information back all right so we are back here let me refresh and right here i will say three okay so now you see we have edit quantity in the data type this is important because once we come back here we can use that data if data type is not undefined then we can put an if statement and say if obj.datatype is equal to this is just to confirm that uh, this exists this is the same as is set for php so if object type is equal to edit quantity then we're in business so we want to refresh the page so how do you refresh just uh, window dot um, dot location 
dot uh, href. So we want to set the href to a specific. Uh, this is how you send your page to a specific location. But if I just repeat myself like this, then it will refresh. Yeah. Okay. So goody, goody, goody. So let's see if uh, let's try. Let me refresh here. Let me try number four there. And the page has refreshed, but you see the values are there. Okay, so pretty good. The page has refreshed, but nothing has changed, of course. So in the next video, let's see how we can actually change the values here.